Now, all this week, we're finding out about the work of the North Devon Hospice as it celebrates its 30th anniversary. We've already seen how people are cared for at the hospice itself, but much of its work is carried out in the community. A new hospice-to-home service means the care is available 24 hours a day, and a team of nurses from the hospice make around 5,000 visits to patients at home each year. Spotlight's North Devon reporter Andrea Ormsby spent the day with one nurse on her travels. The maths is simple. 14 community nurses and more than 800 square miles of North Devon. It equals a lot of time in the car. Between them, they drive around 55,000 miles every year. We're going this morning to see uh, Martin and Anne. Their family situation is quite complex. There's a lot going on. And it's just, although they're having other resources of support, it's just... Um, an opportunity in their own home to talk about how things are for them at the moment. Hi Anne, you all right? On an average day, Mary Brooks will do around four or five home visits. Each community nurse will look after between 25 and 30 patients and crucially their families. Hi there Martin, good Hello, to see Mary. you. All right, nice to see you. First visit of the day is Martin and his wife and carer Anne. If I've got problems, instead of letting us have the pressure of trying to look into it, Mary will jot it down and fight our corner. And she is brilliant. I can say that about the hospice in general, actually. They're absolutely brilliant. It's really hard to put into words. I think although you speak very openly with me, I'm very conscious it's always in front of Anne, and I know you always worry about the impact of Anne, so I think you need that one-to-one -to, -one to yeah. have the opportunity to talk about how you're feeling and what have you. Martin has a brain tumour, and three years ago he found out it was malignant. As well as home visits, he goes to the hospice as a day patient once a week. He's also had two stays there of two weeks each to help with pain relief. How much harder would life be at the moment if the hospice didn't exist? It would be difficult. They're the lifeblood. For Anne, the hospice provides a holistic approach, not just the medical, but the spiritual and emotional too. Without it, I think we'd be adrift, completely adrift. Um, I've had some very low times and they're just always there. And um, it would be difficult to imagine life without them. I think we're very lucky in North Devon. Mary's visits here are as much for Anne as for Martin. If the carer isn't OK, then the patient won't be OK either. Um, so it's, it's a recognition, I think, and it's on support. I'm not saying that GPs don't, but it's, it's much more intangible than that. If you're involved with the hospice, it's like being enveloped in a big hug, really. You can't see it, but you can sense it, and you just feel safe. And while Mary's still inside, the hospice, in yet another form, comes knocking. Hi, Pete. Right. <laughs> You've brought the weather. Oh, Have a good day. It's time for Martin's day trip to the hospice building in Barnstable. A volunteer driver will take him and bring him home. Bye. North Devon Hospice started by caring for people at home. Now, 30 years later, it's still where the majority of care takes place, with the emphasis for the future for even more care this way. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, South Moulton.